What is going on, my fine people? Fine Line seventeen twenty one checking back in here to give you guys another quick review. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release November twenty third. But before we get into that review, I want to take a quick look at some more upcoming Jordan releases. We got the Air Jordan Retro twelve Game Royal releasing December eighteenth. Then we have the Air Jordan Retro one OG High Black Toe reimagined releasing October eighteenth. Now all of those releases plus the one that we are about to review. We'll be shipping out early on fineline1721.com. I also have full reviews live on the channel if you want to check that out. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the main attraction. Starting off with the box, as you can see, we got the standard Air Jordan Retro 3 box, black lip top lid, Jordan branding, elephant print going throughout the base of the box, Nike Air branding on the front and the back, taking a look at the label, Air Jordan 3 Retro, Black, Fire Red, and Cement Gray. Size 11 we're going to be taking a look at. Peeling off the top, you're then greeted with the paper Air Jordan 3 construction little pamphlet. Then we have the waxy elephant print paper. Peel that back. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Now that we have these out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Air Jordan Retro 3 OG Black and Cement. Now, these don't come with any extra laces, but we do have one accessory right here. The classic OG orange hang tag with the clear Nike Air branding sitting in the middle. Now with the box and the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into the shoe. Starting off with that top down view. Got the all gray sock liner, red insole with the black Nike Air branding sitting on the top, gray leather tongue, stitched in red Jumpman logo sitting on the top of that, black flat laces, gray eyelets on the ankle, red eyelets right here at the bottom of the laces. Perforated leather right here at the panel where the eyelets sit, and we also have perforations throughout the tongue. Now, taking a look at the toe, got some nice little leather right here on these. I will say that the leather is not on par with the Ama Meyer 3s, but it is a little better than the comparison that a lot of people have been giving them to like green glow 3s. Going around to the lateral side of the shoe, Nice smooth leather right here going from the mid panel to the toe. The elephant print is kind of like a light gray. It's not as soft and hairy as kind of like the OG Reimagine. It is just a little bit better than the standard Air Jordan Retro 3s that cost about $200. Going around to the heel of the shoe, got the perforated leather around the ankle. Got some nice little tumbled leather right here in this section as well. The elephant print that we have on the heel matches what it is on the toe. So it doesn't seem like you're going to have a lot of imperfections or quality control issues. Taking a look at the midsole, standard Air Jordan Retro 3 midsole. Got the black paint job sitting on top of the white. Going around to the bottom of the shoe, all gray outsole, red traction on the toe, and the red Nike Air branding sitting in the middle. Going around to the heel of the shoe, got your big, bold, white Nike Air branding sitting on the back. Nothing behind the heel tab. Going around to the medial side of the shoe, tumble leather is going throughout each little panel. Nice little wrinkles going throughout. Taking that last quick 360. And that about wraps it up for this quick look at the Air Jordan Retro 3 Black Cement. If you are interested in this pair and you want to pick them up early, please head over to the website, fineline1721.com. They will be shipping out early. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on X. Both handles are the same, fineline1721. And into the next video, you guys already know what to do. Be smooth, enjoy life, bless up.